Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a Nidal Queen team. Um, and the reason I want to showcase Nidal Queen is because Nidal Queen beats uh, like like hard counters, Cabalion, and the Verizian meta. So I just wanted to go over that. But before we get into the video, definitely hit that subscribe button. And um, let's go ahead and get into it. So, oh, I should put my camera on. <laughs> All right, so these are the games... All right, obviously this is a really bad lead, so we're actually playing Nidoqueen, Queen, uh, Giratina uh, Altered, and uh, Nidoqueen. Queen, and they instantly swap out of the out of that uh, lead matchup because they want Talonflame to 100% be on our um, our Alolan Nine Tails, but they come in Cabalion, and Nidoqueen Queen literally resists everything. So I'm gonna go for the farm down here, and if they do get to a range where they are gonna be able to KO me, I'm willing to shield with the with the Nidal Queen, which I, I believe I'm end up going to be shielding here. Oh no, I don't. And uh, if they come back in with the Talon Flame, like we have this massive energy advantage, and um, yeah. So just again to reiterate the timing here, um, every time they throw an Incinerate, you can throw two Poison Jabs and then throw your move. Uh, that's the best timing to be doing those um, at. Really gives Nidal Queen a, a big edge against uh, a mon like that. And then they come in Venusaur here. I decide I'm going to throw the Poison Fang and then dip into Giratina. And that's going to be a really quick game one because uh, I believe they end up quitting out. Yeah. And these battles are in the, like the 2350 range. Uh, yeah, 2350. So Cabalion lead. It's not the best matchup for Nine uh, for Ninetales because Cabalion does have Stone Edge and you have to be aware of that. But um, it's still doing decent damage. It has that fighting type, so you're doing neutral even though it's steel. And um, Psyshock, uh, definitely the move you want to go here. It's neutral. And um, Weather Ball is going to be resisted from steel. So I'm going to try to catch the Stone Edge on Nidoqueen. Queen. Nidal Queen obviously resists everything Cabalion does. That's the whole point of the video. And uh, they come in Dragonite, but we have a little bit of a uh, uh, timing advantage here. So uh, we're going to throw this Poison Jab. And if they try to... if they, it, I decide if I get that Poison Jab through, which we did, I'm actually just going to shield because Cabalion is so low that we can probably farm it down. And if I can get a Poison Fang onto that last Mon... Yeah, you see we farm it down. Then um, I'm having an edge against it. And it actually ends up being Charizard, uh, which is okay for us but shields down is pretty rough and i decide i'm going to come in nine tails first and then see if i can catch a blast burn on giratina we're just doing that uh damage because it's already one time debuffed in the uh, in the defense and this is pretty much gg charizard is an interesting pick in ultra league uh because it does have dragon claw and it does have blast burn so blast burn just an amazingly strong move uh, a fire move and then dragon claw good against all the dragons which there are a ton of in the meta all right nidal queen's actually a tough matchup here i think the only thing we can do sorry i had to do a quick edit there so uh, let's get back into it um the nidal queen matchup's pretty tough especially down energy so um, they, when they actually switch out of this, I decide, you know what, I can probably win this middle matchup, even though A9 is going to be insanely good against Umbreon. Um, I want to try to get that other Nidal Queen into a bad position. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to actually try to win this matchup. We can take one of these, though, the foul plays. Um, this is Ultra League, so everything's a little bulkier. And that means they're also going to be dealing less damage in general. So less damage output and more defensives to uh, withstand any attacks like that as well. So I'm going to go for the full farm down right here. And then I think they're going to come back in with the Nidal Queen. <laughs> oh, no, they actually come back in, or they come in with an Obstagoon, which is interesting. So uh, this is okay for me obviously i would want nine tails on this but i'm actually going to go for the energy earth power here rather and then i'm going to see if i can't get a um a poison fang onto oh right i switch right out so um they oh i remember this matchup actually so this happened a few hours ago but i do remember this matchup they end up going for like three poison fangs which is pretty unnecessary i think they could have gone for either double earth power or one poison fang and an earth power and been like pretty good 
Um, probably double earth power is the way to go. It is a non-shadow Nether Queen, so maybe they just didn't think they had the damage output, but they allowed, a, they allowed this Giratina to just stay in here for way too long. Um, and then once they get it out of there, it's going to be out of energy. And A9, even though it's extremely weak against Nidor Queen, um, as in Nidor Queen resists the charms and they're dealing super effective and they have Poison Jab to deal extra damage over time, it is, um, it's still going to be doing damage in general. And so if you're going to have to go from 100 to 0 and you're out of energy, it's obviously tough here. Um, and we have our Nidal Queen for just a little bit more damage, uh, if necessary, and Giratina for probably one more Shadow Claw. Just uh, a few things to think about there in that end game. All right, Nine Tails into Obstacoon. Obviously, this is a really favorable matchup. So hopefully, the back matchup is something we can go to. I see that as Venusaur. I go straight into my Giratina. We resist everything it does. The Ghost typing resists the Sludge Bombs and the dragon typing uh, resists all elemental types, which includes grass. So um, we're just going to be throwing dragon claws. I'm going to see if I can't get a, a couple of dragon claws out of this matchup. Plus, we want to be as low as possible so that they don't get some extreme farm down. Um, but um, Obstagoon doesn't do too much to um, Alolan Ninetales in general. Cross Chop's going to be neutral, or if it has one of those big moves, Gunk Shot could be something really bad for us to to handle so hopefully doesn't have any of those but uh, we do have some dragon claws here to throw at it just get it a little bit weakened but this doesn't really matter in the end game um really it's just going to be um nine tails really the best part of what we did there was we got our giratina super low so that this didn't have infinite farm because we're really not pressuring any sort of damage as you can see from a triple resist uh, ghost so um, they come in with their own Nidal Queen. Now they're one ahead, so we know we're going to have to gain energy at some point uh, somewhere in this matchup. Um, so at some point we're going to have to go for a Poison Fang. We decide to go for it here. And as soon as we go for one Poison Fang, it means we are now ahead on energy. And I'm going to throw the Earth Power, but we have to remember the only way for them to catch up now is if they also go for a Poison Fang. So with that in mind, I'm going to go for the No Shield here. Um, it's pretty risky, I guess, but um, it really, I think the um, logic stands. And uh, yeah, this is definitely just the second Poison Fang. They're looking to get to the clock. We need to make sure that we can switch out. Our switch is up. So as soon as they switch, we switch. We have the Earth Power for later. Um, and they're definitely only at like three Poison Jabs. So um, we're way ahead in energy. And like I said, this obstacle is not really going to do too much to a lot of Nine Tails. All right, Cresselia lead. Now, this is tough. Probably we should be switching into the Nidoqueen. Queen. Um, I do not do that here. And we also get a bit of desync because um, this matchup usually is pretty good for A9 um, in the two shield to one shield or the one to zero. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're getting a little bit of stutter and they're getting a few moves in rather than the one normal move that you'd get in. And. Um, I think they, they also played really well for not going for the Moon Blast, which I think a lot of Cresselias do. So it does seem like in this matchup, if you go straight Grass Knot, it's going to be a little better for you as the Cresselia as you're getting to those moves faster and your fast attack's not really doing too much um, in a general sense. So um, yeah, definitely I could have played this matchup out better, but probably we should just be switching straight into Nidal Queen. These Cresselias usually only have Grass Knot as a neutral damage, or if you're feeling like it, I guess you could switch into Giratina. Um, that matchup's pretty close in general. Um, you are dealing super effective, but the Moon Blasts are super effective as well. Um, yeah, so your choice. Uh, probably we should have preserved this for the Wall Rain, though. As you can see, not very great. Uh, we have no good matchups. I decide I'll see if I can get to a Poison Fang here. If I can get to a Poison Fang, maybe that deals damage. Maybe we can farm it down with Giratina, get to the back line. It's but it's probably a Scrafty in the back, I would guess. Um, and uh, they end up KOing us anyways here, and I'm just going to leave that game. But either way, I've used this team for maybe three sets, um, all positive. It was a 3-2, 3-2, 4-1. Um, yeah, this team seems really good, um, especially Nidal Queen in general. But if you saw in, that, in, the, in those matches, there were a few Nidal Queens uh, on our opponent's side as well which makes sense. They also um, realize, <laughs> don't mind me throwing 
and missing all of those. They're also realizing like Nidal Queen's going to be coming up big in the um, meta right now as um, Cabalion and Verizian are literally everywhere. Um, Talonflame also in, on a lot of teams as well. Nidal Queen good against those uh, as well as other fighting types like Scrafty, uh, the Pseudo Fighter, Obstagoon. And uh, yeah, hopefully this was able to help you out. And um, yeah, if you guys have any Nidal Queen teams you want me to showcase besides this one for Ultra League, we can do that. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't, definitely subscribe to the channel. All right, bye.